Here is another skin tumor. Notice it is a little bit nodular. Notice it's hemorrhagic at the periphery. Notice that it's in an, an area in which there appear to be smaller nodules as well. What could this be? Well, let's put this thing under a microscope and cut it right like this and uh, see if we could get some kind of idea. Here is the epidermis. It looks relatively intact. Notice that there are some vascular spaces here and here and here which come very close to the epidermis and that might be why uh, it has a hemorrhagic appearance. Also notice that uh, the majority of the tumor does not really appear to be vascular. Although the area up here you could see that is clearly uh, lined with uh, vascular endothelial cells which we'll see and abundant uh, blood cells and endothelium as well. Let's take a look. If this was the only part of the tumor you were to look at you would say well this is an obvious uh, vascular tumor of some type. Uh, let's call it a uh, angioma for uh, lack of a better word and uh, go home and call it a day. Yes, it's a vascular tumor. Notice these are all endothelial spaces. Notice that they have uh, are filled with blood. But also notice that in most of the other parts of the tumor, you still have these abundant, numerous little vascular spaces. But they are irregular, and they are invasive. And yes, I agree this is a vascular tumor, but it's a bit malignant vascular tumor. This is a vascular sarcoma. This is Kaposi's hemorrhagic sarcoma, the number one malignancy found in AIDS patients. Uh, it's caused by a specific virus, uh, human herpes virus number eight. Uh, before the AIDS epidemic, these sarcomas were very, very rare. Uh, now, uh, they are one of the most common malignancies with AIDS patients. They seem to predominate more in the age that were associated with uh, heterosexual activity, I'm sorry, homosexual activities rather than uh, intravenous drug abuse. Notice that even though the tumor appears solid perhaps in an area like here, you will still see that even in the solid areas, there are these little uh, open irregular uh, vascular spaces lined by uh, endothelial cells. If you did a um, stain that uh, localizes an endothelial cell such as factor eight, you would see that most of these tumor cells would take up factor eight because it is a true tumor of endothelium. But it is a uh, malignant tumor of endothelium, which by nature makes it a sarcoma. Thank you very much.